there's been a lot of focus as of late in the social media landscape on the concept of longevity. And some people are coming at it by the lens of nutrition or supplementation or biohacking as it's often referred to as. But I wanna speak more specifically about the longevity of the musculoskeletal system. And more specifically, how does a practitioner assign exercises to a client in order to improve the health and wellness of their articulations or their joints uh, as well as the tissues that govern movement in those articulations. The number one concept that has to be understood in this regard is that movement is really the only way to preserve your joint health over time. In, in order for articulations and the tissues that govern them to imbibe new nutrients, in order for them to expel cellular waste products, um, etc., it, it is through the physical act of moving. Ergo, when people say that movement is medicine, uh, a more specific way to think about this with regards to the musculoskeletal system is that movement is medicine specifically for the tissues that are involved in said movement. Now, from a practitioner standpoint, what does that mean? Well, when clients come to us, almost all clients have movement restrictions, be it because of a uh, history of injury or possibly because of repetitive activities of daily living or repetitive stresses at their job or in their training. Uh, whatever the reason may be, people come to us with joint restrictions. So from our standpoint, the concept of movement as medicine, although it's true, it isn't specific enough to really garner the benefits of movements that we want for our clients in terms of their long-term joint health. What we need to stop doing is given generic movement routines that people do on a daily basis, and we should increase the amount of joint-specific exercises that they do on a regular basis. For people in the functional range systems, we assign what are called CARs, or controlled articular rotations. What these do is they force the individual to not only move generically using their body, but to specifically isolate individual articulations and to move those articulations through their entire range of motion on a daily basis, several times a day, in order to garner the medicinal effects of movement for each of the articulations, as well as for all of the tissues that garner those articulations. So again, if you are giving generic mobility exercises for people to perform on a daily basis, although the tissues that are performing those, those movements will benefit from moving, the tissues that are not experiencing those force inputs from movements will deteriorate rapidly. And we know this from the literature when we look at immobilization post-injury. If you take an articulation that's injured and we immobilize it for any given amount of time, as soon as the onset of that immobilization occurs, what we see in the literature is signs of rapid tissue deterioration. So if you extend this concept to our prescription of exercises for longevity, remember it's not enough to say, move your shoulder around in the way that the shoulder moves around comfortably. What we have to do is we have to give specific joint exercises so that that joint or that shoulder can undergo movement throughout its entire range on a regular basis, not just the ranges that we predetermine through our exercise selections or through our activity days of living. We want to get movement into those joints so that the entire joint and all of the tissues surrounding the joints experience the medicinal effects of movements. If that is something that you would like to learn more about, Perhaps learning a CARS or controlled articular rotations routine may be the key beneficial factor that you can then prescribe to your clients in order to actually fully get the benefit of the medicinal aspects of movement.